Becky is lounging by the pool at the Fountain Blue Hotel when a strapping pool attendant catches her eye. She asks him if he'd like to go on a date with her. But there's a catch. Her husband wants in on the action too. What begins as an unconventional proposition will soon throw them all into the international spotlight. And that's because the couple is no other than Jerry Falwell Jr. and his wife, Becky, two of the most powerful figures in evangelical America. But as their forbidden fling blossomed into a full-fledged relationship, the Falwells did much more than break their own rules. The team that brings you the hit Wondery podcast, Even the Rich, presents In God We Lust, a story of an alluring sex scandal, power, money, and a very public fall from grace. While running Liberty University, a school that strictly enforced abstinence, there's even a rule against prolonged eye contact with the opposite sex, the Falwells lured Giancarlo Granda into a love triangle that lasted years. For a time, their secret was safe. But when word of their affair fell into the wrong hands, it led to political extortion and a public outing that brought Jerry Falwell Jr.'s empire crashing down. You're about to hear a preview of In God We Lust. While you're listening, subscribe to In God We Lust on Apple Podcast, Amazon Music, or listen anywhere and ad-free by joining Wondery Plus in the Wondery app. So, Arisha, I want you to picture a pool at a luxury hotel on Miami Beach. Oh, this is perfect. I need a vacation. <laughs> well, it's not just any hotel. It's the luxurious, historic Fountain Blue. Back in the 50s, you could catch legends like Frank Sinatra or Judy Garland lounging poolside or walking through its giant marble lobby. They actually once had to put armed guards at the door just to keep out screaming fans. Ugh, those were the days, drinking Manhattans with old blue eyes. <laughs> yeah, I forgot you were a founding member of the Rat Pack. I don't like to brag. <laughs> On this day in March 2012, 20-year-old Giancarlo Granda is working as a pool attendant at the Fountain Blue. Giancarlo's handsome and fit. He recently kicked a bad video game habit and got himself in great shape. And lately, he's been working this hourly job, dutifully bringing towels and cold beverages to hotel guests. It's a lot of work, sweating it out in the Miami humidity. But today, something unusual catches Giancarlo's eye among all the beautiful people sunbathing by the pool. There's one guest in particular, and he's noticing how she's noticing him. She's checking him out, like really obviously checking him out. We don't know exactly how the next moment goes down, but Giancarlo walks over to the woman. I imagine he casually asks her if she needs a fresh towel or a fresh drink. She's older than him. He's guessing she's in her 40s. And he thinks she's cute. Brunette, great body, friendly smile, and she keeps flirting with him. At one point, she even takes a picture of Giancarlo with her phone. <laughs> wow, thirsty much? <laughs> Definitely. After some chit-chat, the woman tells him her name is Becky. She asks him for his number, and he gives it to her. And then she asks him if he wants to meet at her hotel room. Okay, this is getting interesting. Yes, but we're not done. Because according to Giancarlo, she adds one more request. My husband, she says, he likes to watch... Whoa, was not expecting that. <laughs> After Giancarlo finishes his shift at the pool, he gets a call from a blocked number. The caller asks him to go to a hotel near the Fountain Blue. When he gets there, Becky's sitting at the bar. She's nervous. Yeah, I think I'd need a drink too. They both have a whiskey to calm the old nerves. Then they have stairs together. When they get to the hotel room... There's Becky's husband, lying on the bed. Just boom, lying on the bed? <laughs> yep. He's tall, gray-haired, pretty handsome, maybe a little doughy around the middle. He's noticeably drunk and giggling nervously. What about Giancarlo? Is he nervous? If it were me, I have so many butterflies in my stomach. Yeah, well, Giancarlo reassures the husband that if he starts to get uncomfortable with his setup, he'll get out of there. No problem. But the couple doesn't ask him to leave. Instead, Giancarlo and Becky have sex while the husband watches. Okay, so we're just getting right down to it. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Is a grown man giggling not enough foreplay for you, Arisha? <laughs> and I should say, this is Giancarlo's version of what happened that night. 
The couple has straight up denied this is how it went down. Is this couple someone that we know? Oh, just wait. The very next day, Giancarlo says he gets another call. Becky and her husband want to meet again. Oh boy. Yeah, oh boy is right. Because Becky is Becky Falwell. And her husband, the one with a voyeurism fetish, that's Jerry Falwell Jr. Do you know who that is? Yeah, he's the son of Reverend Jerry Falwell Sr., right? Yep. Who was one of the most famous Christian leaders in the country. And in 2012, Jerry Jr. is the president of the Evangelical University he founded. Uh Uh-oh. Yeah. This meeting with Giancarlo Granda is going to turn into much more than a meaningless affair. It'll lead to bad business deals and accusations of blackmail. And it'll end in a scandal that threatens to destroy the evangelical empire Jerry's father built. There is so much going on there that should not be occurring and needs to be stopped. He had no limits. He had no accountability. None. And then I learned Becky's not as innocent as you might want to believe. That was just a preview of In God We Lust. Listen to the rest of the series on Apple Podcast, Amazon Music, or listen early and ad-free by joining Wondery Plus in the Wondery app.